What if I just turn it on and nothing happens? <gasps> oh my gosh, I built a freaking computer. Y'all, I built my first PC. <sighs> it's such a good day. It is such a good day. Like, she is beautiful. I know I say everything is beautiful, but that's just how I, how I feel. But honestly, look at her. You know, nice, nice cable management. I mean, I tried anyway. Like, I can't say I'm the best at it, but I think I did pretty well. Um, but, um, yeah, got my... First PC. We love her, do we not? Yes, we love her. Uh, let's just talk about the process, build list, things like that. So I will go through my build list. I'll put it up right here. This build was probably after tax around 1700. Um, I feel like, yeah, after tax about 1700. Now, I went for mostly white parts, which I was noticing were kind of a little bit more expensive since, you know, white is kind of more for aesthetic. So, I feel like if you want to go for black parts, it could probably be even about $200 cheaper. But I really went, you know, all those little parts kind of add up when you're going for a uh, white aesthetic. <clears throat> let, me, let me change it to the white so y'all can see. So just to show the all white. I really want to start off by saying, I don't think this was necessarily hard or easy. I think that it requires focus and it requires attention. And that's pretty much it. It's definitely something where you need to just be careful, be cautious, you know, that's 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 as, as straightforward as I can put it. Um, I'm just appreciating her. Like, <laughs> part of me still can't even believe that I built this. <laughs> to be honest, like I had no knowledge whatsoever on how to build a PC. Like I've never I never had any prior knowledge. So literally, I started off at um, PCPartPicker.com. This website makes it super easy for you to pick your parts, compare. You can see other people's builds. You can also make sure everything is compatible, like it does that for you. And this is my part list again. It also, once you have the list, it'll put the vendor that you can buy it from. And there are usually multiple vendors and it'll price compare as well. So when you're looking at each part, it's going to list the different characteristics of it it's going to list ratings from people who have used it when you click into the part and as you can see like you can favorite stuff so I had favorited all these white cases because I knew that I wanted a white build I looked at the ratings the reviews and then you when you also click into it there are people who have posted their builds and you can see the actual part within their build so another feature I really like about this website is when you look at other people's builds, you can actually click into it. You can look at their part list. You can look at the full price. You can see if they've rated any of their parts and you can also just interact with other people's builds. So if you see a build that you fully want to copy or you feel like is good for use, your use case or even maybe you see a build and then you really like it but you want to modify some things it's great because it's all laid out there for you and you can just remove and add as you want and price out parts so this website is like the number one thing that i would use okay one thing about the pc building community is that everybody helps each other out so between this website and reddit there are so many resources and you can really understand what you need for your use case. A little bit of research of like what I wanted my graphics card to be and you know what I wanted my CPU to be and then from there just kind of built the pieces. I think that website is really, really helpful. 
and for each individual piece you know if i had a question i just looked it up on youtube or went to the actual manufacturer this was a really fun experience it's been really rewarding the only thing i've literally played on it is call of duty and i really was just trying to test out a new monitor i got definitely gonna be playing all sorts of stuff if you know me you know that i've been a long time gamer and building a pc is something that i always wanted to do so just doing this and and finally getting to do it and being successful oh my gosh <laughs> being successful has been a really like this has been a really good experience um how long did it take me i can't even tell you because i did it in phases the longest part is doing all the research so you know what you need and you know what you want after that you're waiting for all the parts to come in after that you're hoping and praying that none of your parts are broken or defective because you know i was talking to other people and they basically said like Eight out of 10 people probably have to return a part. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to not have to do that, but you know, that's just kind of a part of it. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted this to be a fun project that I did on the side and you know, it was kind of like, okay, I would take my time in doing it. So, I mean, if you know what you're doing, it'll probably take maybe a few hours to a day. For me, I kind of like split it all up. So, um, and just learned in the process, you know, that was that was my thing. I wanted to fully learn exactly what I was doing in the process and like what everything does, what everything means. So it did take me days, really. And I will say that not everything was smooth sailing. Wait, I'm confused. I I didn't know just exactly what to do, you know? So if I had a question, I would look it up. Um, I would ask ChatGPT. Honestly, shout out to ChatGPT. If I had a question, <laughs> it was either Reddit, ChatGPT, or YouTube. And yeah, I mean, there were some times where I was like, okay, let me just step back, do my research, learn fully, and dive right back into it, you know? I play both beautiful slow paced games and also maybe less visually appealing but fast paced games so i landed at the 4070 super because it fit my need for being able to handle the games that i play at a good price point make sure you like your parts i first had a cooler cpu cooler that i didn't like i felt like it didn't aesthetically fit what i was going for literally returned it ordered another one put the new one in was very satisfied i feel like you're building what you want you're spending money make sure that you're spending money on exactly what you want make it worth your while i really think the only thing i have to do now is turn on my pc like connect it to power and turn on my pc um yeah i'm i'm excited to see what happens um kind of scared at the same time okay plug it in i gotta flip the switch for my smart zero fan ring on Alright, I clicked that on. I'm scared. Um, I just feel like what if I just turn it on and nothing happens? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, okay. Oh my gosh, I built a freaking computer! <gasps> and it's so beautiful. I have not closed my mouth. <laughs> I have not closed my mouth because oh my gosh, I did things like.
I just gotta soak it in real quick. Oh my gosh. Even my freaking AIO, like the freaking. <laughs> this RGB. I love that. I built a computer. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I like, I just get like. When I get really excited, I be wanting to cry for no reason. Like, yes, I'm a little bit of a cry baby, but for the good things, right? Like, for the good things. I literally was so afraid that nothing would even turn on. Look at it. Gosh, I feel accomplished I did that <laughs>